Welcome back to another episode of Beho Reviews. With a sports world in disarray, we look back at my Sega Saturn collection and look at the games I loved as a sports enthusiast. Games today are so much more advanced, but I miss the days of Double Dribble, Tecmo Bowl, Super Bowl, Joe Montana Sports Talk, Football, to my favorite football game of all time, the NFL 2K series. Looking back makes me remember how many things change and how much they stay the same. Listen, Kevin, we know that opposing teams target Steph Curry on the defensive end. What you love about Curry is his quick hands allow him to come up with steals. His competitive nature makes him bulldogish enough that he's going to stick with a player and try to bother their shot. Madden 98 was released in 1997 by EA. After Sega bowed out with Montana on the Sega Genesis, I hopped over to Madden. The game played great and still feels the same, but with better graphics today. This was the last Madden to use a 3D field with 2D sprites. Good. Hey. NBA Action 98 was released in 1997 by Sega and developed by Visual Concepts. This game went head-to-head -head with NBA Live before the 2K series remains the king of the hill. The game used 3D models and had smooth gameplay for passing and shooting the ball. You can change the view of the court as well to reminiscent of the old school NBA Jam days. Jump shot, he really got burned. Slam dunk. World Series Baseball 98 was released in 1997 by Sega. They took the Pro Greatest 9 game in Japan and ported that game into the North America World Series Baseball as we see it today. A bit arcadey and simulation, the game was easy to pick up and play. The 3D models moved smoothly and both batting and pitching were an absolute blast to play. He hits it. Ripped to the right side. He makes the turn at third. Defensive indecision cost them that run. Now he scores. Sega Rally Championship was released in 1995 by Sega and is probably the best racing game for the Saturn. The smooth frame rate and gorgeous graphics put to shame other racing counterparts on any other system at that time. A game I still play vigorously today just for the admiration of their accomplishment. Daytona USA, released in 1995 by Sega, was rushed to the market as a day one game for the Saturn. Later, Daytona USA Championship circuit was made with better frame rate, more courses, and better graphics. A game that still entertains today with its fast paced racing and that huge sonic statue on the beginner's level. Cannot forget that. Man X TT Superbike was released in 1997 by Sega and was 
released right after Sega Rally. Although developed by an outside developer, the game was fantastic in its conversion of the arcade. With fast-paced gameplay and no hiccups or slowdown, the game remains as another well-done arcade conversion for the Sega Saturn. That's it for me on this episode. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here. Uh